So whenever we have a more complicated trig equation, the angle here is quite complicated, let's uh, focus on substituting the angle. We're going to say let theta equals 2x plus 1 the inside. And so the equation looks much easier. We have 3 cosine of theta equals 2. We're going to divide both sides by 3. We have cos theta equals 2 thirds, and this looks very familiar. How do we do it? ASTC, this is positive, cosine is positive here and here. You hit cosine inverse of 2 thirds in radian mode. We get 0.841 radians, which is approximately 48 degrees if you multiply by 57. So we have it around here and here. We're going to just say 0.841 radians. Keep all the digits, digits of accuracy on your calculator. And so let's just figure out uh, what theta is. Now, it doesn't really matter if you go forwards or backwards. We're just going to go forwards counterclockwise. And so we have theta 1 is going to be 0 0.841 and theta 2 is going to be half a turn pi radians it's going to be a full turn 2 pi radians take away that reference angle it's going to be 2 pi minus 0 0.841 radians which is approximately 5.44 radians and keep all the digits of accuracy on your calculator. Now we're not done. We're dealing with x's, not thetas. What is theta again? It's 2x plus 1. So when you have 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 0.841, we're going to subtract 1 from both sides and you have 2x is equal to 0 0.841. Take away 1. So 2x is approximately negative 0.159-ish. Divide both sides by 2. And you get x is approximately negative 0.0795-ish. And you do the same over here. You have 2x plus 1 is equal to 5.44-ish. Subtract 1 from both sides. You have 2x is approximately 5.44 minus 1. It's going to be 4.44-ish. Divide both sides by 2. You get x is approximately 2.22-ish. Now, these are not always guaranteed correct solutions, but these are good candidate solutions. So we're going to use this as a starting point and check to see if truly we are between the boundaries, the goalposts, which is negative 3.14-ish, all the way towards pi, which is 3.14-ish. So let's start with the first solution. We have negative 0.795 radians. And we're going to start subtracting pi. So how do I know we're going to subtract pi? Focus on the actual period. The period is equals to 2 pi over b, and the b value happens to be 2. So the period is pi. These solutions keep repeating every pi radians. So this is going to be negative 0 0.0795. Take away pi. And we have another potential solution is going to be negative 3.22 radians. But this is out of bounds. This is too small, as you can see. This here is the goalpost. So instead of subtracting by pi, let's go the other way. Let's add pi. So we're going to take this negative 0 0.079-ish. And this time we're going to add pi. So when you add pi, we get x is approximately going to be 3.06-ish. And indeed, we are within the boundary. So this here is also a good solution. And because we're so close to the boundary, we're not going to bother adding another pi. So let's try this one over here, x equals 2.22-ish. 
2.22 minus pi, we get approximately negative 9, 0.921-ish radians, which is within the bounds, so this is okay. And if we subtract another pi, we're out of bounds, negative 4-ish. So this time, let's try adding 2.22 plus pi. It's going to be approximately 5.36-ish, 5 5 which is too big. So we reject that solution. So in total, we found four solutions, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if you want to verify this using uh, Desmos, you can see that indeed within negative pi to pi, we have these four solutions, it is correct.